Nick Luvano is an eight-figure entrepreneur who specializes in wholesale real estate. In the last video, I spent the day with him. He showed his daily habits for success, his business operations, and much more. Make sure you watch it if you haven't yet. In this video, Nick talks about his journey to a millionaire and his opinions on wholesale real estate. I would have never been in real estate or at least become successful if it wasn't for the skills that I got in the network marketing industry. Yeah, yeah. A million percent. Now, and you graduated from college, right? In 2013, from San Diego State. I went to school, didn't know what I wanted to do. Figured if I'm in school, go to San Diego State. I think at the time it was like the number like seven party school in the country. Yeah, my friend actually went there. Yeah, incredible atmosphere. Yeah. I said, I'm go down there, figure it out. So what'd you major in? Communication. 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 For me, I just kind of like, picked a major. I felt like it was one of those things where like I can do anything with it. Ended up you know, picking communication. You know, for me, I just, at that time, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Yeah, do you, you feel know? like that helped you out? College is one of those things to where, and I'm a big advocate for education. My kids are gonna go to college, yeah. a million percent. Yeah, I think it builds good fundamentals. It really challenges you as a young person, 18 years old to probably 21, people graduate 22, to start something and finish it. Mm. Because most people, I believe are addicted starters, but not committed finishers. Mm. They can't start and finish something. So college, it doesn't matter what your major is. Yeah. If, you, if you can start and finish, you have accomplished something great. Yeah. That's what I believe. Because no one, unless you've done it, knows what it takes to do that. Whether you major in underwater basket weaving, or you major in physics, or biochemistry, doesn't matter, you start it and you finish. And then number two, if you wanna become a doctor, an attorney, an engineer, you've got to learn certain fundamentals yeah, to be 100%. able to, to, to work those positions. Become a nurse, right? You want yeah. your nurse to have a degree, right? So when she pokes you, she knows where to poke you, right? Yeah. So if you want to jump, dive into those fields, you gotta go to school, Yeah. Right? And I would want my doctor to have gone to school. But do you need school to become successful? Absolutely not. So I think it all dep depends on the human being. Right? If I have a desire to be a doctor, we'll go to med school. Yeah. If I have a, I have a desire to open up a business, it's not, I don't have to have a business degree. Yeah, you don't have to have a business degree. No, yeah. but I would hope that my doctor would have a medical. Oh yeah, for medical sure, you yeah. I mean? You don't need college, but you do recommend it for the structure and then the idea behind it. Yeah. Just starting and, something and finishing it. Yeah, and, and if you want to dive into a specific, you know, Profession, hundred percent. Yeah, I you, hope need, I, you need I, college. You if, can't, I to, yeah. if I had to, yeah, if I had to hire an attorney, I hope that he went to, he he went went to, to college. Yeah, passed the bar, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah hundred percent. What happened is I ended up joining a fraternity, mm. um, and then I met, started meeting all these people. Yeah, and that was probably one of the best things I could have ever done. Not just because of like the fun atmosphere, partying and shit. Yeah, but it was like the people. Okay. And one of my buddies, roommates, pledge brothers, got recruited to that network marketing company. And he fell in love with this, this network marketing company. I thought it was a fucking scam. And Oh, that's started, how you got introduced to it. Yeah, he started pitching me on this network marketing company and I was like, you know what, I'll go to a meeting. I went to the meeting and there was like these young kids up there making like five grand a month. At the time, I'm, I'm a broke college kid, like a junior or a senior, I think. Yeah. Broke ass college kid and I had no idea what I was gonna do after graduation. I was yeah. getting ready to get a degree. And there's these kids up there making like five grand a month. Yeah. And I said, if they can do it, I can do it. Yeah. It's a legitimate industry, it was a legitimate company. So I got involved and I said, you know what? I could control my own income. The product was pretty good. Yeah. Um, they were open in like, I think it was like 50 countries. I had a pretty big network of people. Yeah. So I started to introduce this product and company to everybody. And I went from making $0 a month to making 10 grand a month in six months. That's nuts. And at 22 years old, making 10 grand a month, I'm fucking rich. Yeah. I'm like, I'm the shit. I'm rich. I'm making 10 grand a month. Yeah. What's and the, I got a brand new BMW. What's the first crazy thing you bought? It was probably a car. Prior to that car, I was driving like a 2007 Mustang. Oh, wow. And the year was 2013. Okay. And it was like falling apart. Door handle was like coming off. So yeah. It was like my college car. I, I sold that car for whatever I can get for it and I got a BMW. Yeah. That was the first probably purchase that I got. And then I started buying like, you know, some designer, I was young, you know, and then I started traveling. I, I grew from 10 grand a month to probably 20 grand a month. Oh wow. Within that first year. That's insane. Yeah. So now I'm 23, making 20 grand a month. And back then, and that I was, was a lot more. And I was rich, by the way. That was probably- I like, thought I was rich. That was like 60, 70K back yeah, then, back because then. of inflation. Yeah, and not even that, just my mind, I was young. Yeah, oh, for you sure, yeah. I was used to making 700 bucks a month yeah. at, my, at my job um, during college. I was a tutor in college. I remember my checks would come out between 700 and if I was lucky, a thousand bucks. A like, month. Like a thousand bucks as a broke college kid to me was like, oh yeah, I got some money. 
You know what I mean? So at that point, your confidence is probably off the charts. Oh yeah, man. You couldn't convince me of anything else. I was like working. I worked seven days a week um, doing meetings and presentations. And the best part about it was the company was open in 50 countries. Yeah. So my business grew to like 15 states and then it started to overlap to different countries. Yeah. So I started traveling to Europe. Oh, to wow. do presentations. I would hop on a red eye, I'd go to Amsterdam. My, my, my team was in Amsterdam, it was in Germany, France, and Spain. So I was just going all over the place doing meetings. So what's your why? What keeps you motivated? You never want to get to a place to where you feel like you, you left something on the table. I think the that's, regrets. Yeah. And so I think that it's the constant progression. It's constant goal setting. Yeah. I think one of the challenges that I face in my career and just in life in general is mm -hmm. I've mastered or I've been able to set goals yeah. and achieve them. However, the challenge was I didn't set goal, my next goals quick enough. So now I set a goal, I achieve it, and I set a new goal within 24 hours as opposed to three weeks, a month, two months, three months. Because within that time frame, if you have no direction or no goal set, you're kind of just lax in days of going through the motions. Yeah, let's just pretend, you know, if your goal is, hey, I gotta make 50,000 this month, that's just my goal. Mm -hmm. Well, after you've accomplished that goal, and so now your mind is telling your body, if you're becoming obsessed with making 50 grand or whatever it may be that month, you're gonna get there. Yeah, you know? exactly. And so once you get there, you gotta know the next step. You know, my why is I don't wanna feel like I left something out on the table. Yeah, you know, yeah, one percent better every day, yeah, right? Yeah, wake up at 40 years old and have regrets. Yeah, so what are the pros and cons of wholesale? Uh, We'll start with the pros. Yeah. Number one is you don't need a license. Yeah. You don't need to utilize any using any of your own credit. It's easier to start. You don't really need to pour too much cash in, yeah. into your business in the beginning. A couple grand. Yeah. So you to really get it going. It, and it allows anybody from all walks of life to get involved in real estate and have a legitimate shot of earning uh, an incredible, incredible income. There's no cap. Yeah. I can't think of any cons. Mm. I really can't because for me, I look at wholesaling as number one, a vehicle to create lump sums of cash. But number two, the ability to find deals that nobody else can. You're finding deals that nobody has at. They're not on the MLS. They're not marketed to you know all around the, the, the country or all, all around the state or all around your zip code. You have the ability to locate deals that no one else can. Mm -hmm. And you can decide what you want to do with that deal. Yeah. Wholesale it, flip it, hold it, develop it. Yeah. Right? It's just an endless amount of things that you can do. Yeah, 100%. So I can't think of any cons. I mean, there's so many different opportunities that you can go with wholesale. Like you said, you can flip properties, you can build your real estate portfolio. Mm -hmm. There's just so many different ways. Or you can just flip it for quick cash. By, quick cash. Yeah, quick just by cash. flipping the contract. 100%. Yeah. And the, the average time to close is probably somewhere around under 40 days, typically, which is incredible. That's awesome. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty quick. So what would you say your worst experience was in wholesale, and then how did you overcome it? My worst experience was um, after I closed my first deal. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't had too many horrible experiences. Wow. Because I got involved in real estate, and within my first 30 days, I made 90 grand. Wow. Net cash. Yeah. Cash. Yeah. Uh, with yeah, you can't beat that. <laughs> yeah. So I really didn't have too, too rough of an experience. The first three weeks, I think, were probably the roughest. I take that back. Because until you close that first deal, and you whether it's $1,000 or $90,000, it's a scourge. It's, it's hard to know that this thing is like real. Once I made that check, and that check, you know, all glory to God, it was $90,000. Yeah. But if that check happened to be like $5,000, it's still a real check. Yeah. So for me, mm. I just needed to see it kind of be done once. And then once I w it was done once, I knew I could do it again and again and again. And now I've closed hundreds of these bad boys. I think it was a little better for you because you seen that kind of money with your network marketing, but for other people, they haven't seen that kind of money in business. So it might be a little more discouraging for them until they get that first check. You know, I, I found out about wholesaling uh, on a YouTube ad. Yeah. That's how I got introduced. Buy real estate with no money down, right? Yeah, it was like one of those come to my webinar pitch. Oh, okay. You know, I said, okay, why not? Signed up for the webinar. And now we see those all day. Everyone does webinars. Yeah. Signed up for the webinar and then I watched the entire thing. It was a two hour webinar and I was just in awe yeah. of where this thing could go. Yeah. That's how I got started. YouTube, YouTube ad. YouTube. So that people are probably gonna be watching this on YouTube. If it weren't for YouTube and watching that ad, yeah, um, I probably wouldn't be here for sure. Yeah, you might, you might meet your next mentor right here, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know, again, that yeah. that thing changed my life for sure. Yeah, that's awesome. So, what's some words of encouragement for someone just started? Number one, know that it's real. Number two, 
Uh, make sure that you get educated by somebody who knows what the hell they're doing. And then number three, take massive fucking action. Mm. Don't be afraid to get obsessed about this business. I think that's one of the best things that I did early on. Yeah. And a lot of people are, uh, use the word obsession like it's a bad thing. No, it's not a bad thing. It just yeah. depends on what you're obsessed about. And Bob Proctor talks about this school that named Bob Proctor, one of my mentors for years and years and years, and now his podcast and his books are still made a big impact on my life and will continue to do so. But he talks about the word obsession a lot, and it's okay to be obsessed. For me, it's okay to be obsessed. And it's okay if, if your friends and family and wife or brother, sister, cat or dog don't understand what it is you're doing. Sometimes, you know, people are going to have opinions on anything. My mentor told me opinions are like buttholes. Yeah. Everybody has one and they, they normally stink. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. I mean, So they're going to have an opinion. You, you have to be different to be successful. You know, you got you to you take a chance. You got to take a risk. You got to take a shot. Yeah, you're the 1% for a reason. Because you're doing the opposite of what the 99% are, are doing. 100%. Yeah. Facts. Going back to obsession, I feel like every successful person is obsessed with their craft. You have to be. Absolutely. I think to get to that that level, mm -hmm. like that, that next level or that highest level, yeah. you got to be obsessed. And I remember starting back uh, in this business, I became obsessed with learning and obsessed with working, being in the office working. Yeah. You know, it's, I think it's one of those things where it's like the bigger the why, the easier the how type yeah. situation. So my why was in the beginning like, yo, I'm going to make this work. Yeah. I've seen, I, I, I saw too many testimonials, too many people already become successful and make big checks and really live the life that I wanted to live through this industry, more specifically, even just wholesaling in the beginning. So I said, if that guy can do it or that woman can do it, I can do it. That's why I, number one, got started. Number two, um, became successful pretty early on because I was as nasty, obsessed with the, with the business in the industry and you can tell me otherwise. That's what you gotta do what you love. I don't know if I loved it just yet. You know, I, I think I grew, <laughs> I grew to love it. In the beginning, it was just kind of like one of those things where it's like, I know that you can earn lump sums of cash. Oh yeah, for sure. And then um, since you're doing it for so long, then you then it became to love a, it. It, grew, it became a passion, you know. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't see myself ever stepping out of the real estate industry to some capacity, whether it's wholesaling, flipping, developments, rentals, whatever it may be. With technology advancing at a rapid rate, do you feel like wholesale is gonna be sustainable in the future? That question is like a question to where like, are people gonna ever stop having sex and making babies? Right? Oh yeah. Probably not. Yeah. You know, they're not gonna have to stop having sex and making babies. People are never gonna stop having problems and issues. A lot of times, it's like an insurance business, right? We talk about insurance and will insurance ever go out of business? Probably not because people will continuously crash their cars. Yeah. Or get in situations where they gotta utilize insurance, right? Because we're humans. Humans, uh, oftentimes, do things that put them in situations where they gotta utilize insurance, right? Whether it's a natural disaster of some sort or they crash their car, they need to utilize insurance. This business is kind of like that. Yeah. People are gonna unfortunately pass away, they're gonna have divorces, they're gonna go through financial struggles, yeah. they're gonna have bad tenants, squatters, yeah. they're gonna get tired of being a landlord, they're gonna somehow just let their property go to crap, and they're gonna wanna sell it. There's always gonna be business. Yeah, and that's why I love this business, because it's the people business. So people are gonna continuously, unfortunately, get in situations where they need to sell. And yeah. for us, we, we come in as that solution saying, hey look, I know you have a bad tenant, or I know that you're behind on your mortgage, or I know that you're behind on your taxes, or I know that you're in a sticky situation, let us come in, We'll fix your headache. Let us fix the headache. Yeah. Um, and you can walk away profitable. And obviously our our business does well. It's a win-win situation, win-win transaction, and we can continue pressing on. So for me, you know, as long as people are having sex and making babies, it's gonna go on forever. <laughs> yeah, 100%. What would you say the most expensive thing that you bought? Probably besides real estate, like, like a luxurious item. Yeah, it's that watch right there, man. <laughs> no, 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 believe it or not. Um, <laughs> this is probably like, three or four on the list. Oh, I, really? Probably my Mercedes. I bought it pretty brand new. It was probably in the 200s. Oh, okay. But I bought that thing back like a couple of years back. So at the time, it was a pretty hefty oh, yeah. hit. Oh, yeah. For sure. So I'd say that's probably was probably top. It was probably, um, besides real estate, probably my, uh, my G-Wagon for sure. We're going to wrap up this video. Nick, I want to thank you for taking the time to share such valuable information, sharing your experiences. If you guys want to stay up to date with Nick, you can follow him on Instagram at Flip King. Is there anything else you want to say, Nick? No, I just want to say that I appreciate Zico for putting this together. For if you're watching, just know that you're seeing wholesaling for the first time, you're doing your research, know that this industry can completely change your life forever. I always tell people that you're one deal away from an explosion in an entirely different life. And if you need any help, assistance, or guidance, reach out to me best way probably on instagram at flip king you can always follow me on facebook at nick lovano tiktok nick lovano as well and i look forward to meeting you guys connecting with you guys or if you need help and guidance or coaching offer those services as well so appreciate you having me man and the future's bright yeah Let's absolutely make sure you guys like and subscribe peace